Oh my god. I'm never gonna doubt the Tendi again. That was simply extraordinary. Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here. And we're gonna be taking a look at the DJ Thanky Spanky Mage. This deck is just so much fun. I played a ton of it last season and this season. For as high as mana cost as it looks, if you're going against any other mid-range deck or control deck or combo deck, you're gonna do just fine. Obviously with a deck like this, that's very top heavy. Aggro decks are a problem, but honestly, a lot of the Paladins and stuff, I haven't seen that many of them. And even then you still run Inquisitive Creation. You still do have some early game in this deck. So when condition is obviously going to be using the dj mana storm when you have sunset vol in your hand or pocket galaxy i keep saying pocket galaxy the projection orb you're going to go ahead and play those for zero mana and you're just going to destroy your opponent however you also have win conditions with the excavates because obviously playing the bird into a sargeras or some sort of norgan you can do some crazy shenanigans with that now that we also have manager being able to wand and if you hit orb dj sunset zilliax manager chad Gar, the list goes on of really good hits with the managers so that's good also another new inclusion is going to be the puppet master because there's so many minions in this deck and they're all so very powerful whatever you're using excavates manager cadgar blast mage dj zilliax caligos you know what i'm saying you hit any minion in this deck with puppet master and you're chilling and then to be able to play puppet master and draw the same turn we run the wisdom because we can get the wisdom down to very low mana so you can go like turn six or something you go puppet master into the wisdom and then you're gonna go ahead and draw some of your big boys so deck super fun games were insane with this deck enjoy <gasps> yeah because uh summer child gets eleanor which refreshes mana which is gg Mind control tech, which uh, Summer Child gets, is also GG. Yeah, so it was Sweet Summer Child, Eleanor, Mind Control Tech. There's one other one, I feel like. Whatever. It has to be this. It's just a fell card. Sure. It's not a bad card. I appreciate the follows, guys. Welcome to the stream. It only does two damage. <sighs> it's a fell card, though. It's fine. I like saving coin anyway for like DJ. Calig or not Caligosa, uh, Zilliax. My favorite streamer is not online, so here I am. Not a problem. Not a problem for me. Ooh, coin Cadgar? I think I need to get the value rolling on Cadgar. I a coin Zilliax is good though, but I think I think coin Chadgar is better. Because he's gonna play Doomkin here, which puts me back at five anyway. Yeah, like he doomkins and then I do the five anyway. Did you ban the I Cry point redemption? I did not. It's there. Sheesh, bro. Can I, uh... <laughs> Damn, this guy has 10 mana and I have 5.
Oh, he's a Highlander deck? How does he have two Doomkins in the deck then? <laughs> Question chat? How does my opponent have... How did he play two Doomkins? Can anybody answer this for me? I don't understand how he double Doomkin but then renode. He didn't play ETC, did he? Anybody? Does anybody understand how he double Doomkin? Just cheat? No, I mean, what did he do? He didn't play ETC, so how did he how did he play duplicates? I'm sure there's a, an answer somewhere. Oh, it matters. Really, DJ? I was going to go puppet. Oh, my God. It's actually so annoying. Playing this deck and your Highlander Warrior just got the Platinum. Granted, it's Highlander Warrior. Okay, that has nothing to do with... Okay, I thought you were... So, can anybody answer how I got double Doomkin by a Highlander deck? Can we, can we answer that particular question? Please? <laughs> I really need to know the answer to that particular question. Gotta have to watch the replay. Nice, they killed it. Did he pl do the duplicate? He did not. 100% it wasn't generated. Not that I know of. He played Cactus. Sky Mommy. I just want to bounce Sky Mommy. Okay. <sighs> Did he play Dorian? Nope. He didn't play Toy Chest. He didn't play Dorian. None of those things happened. Wow, his first card from Sky Mom was the Highlander Dragon card. That's like actually kind of insane. I'm going to, uh,. I'm going to check after this game what happened. Give him a lifesteal card right off the rip. It's pretty good. All right. Do you have anything, anything good from this? Yeah, that's pretty good. If I played a, uh, I haven't played a spell this turn. I mean, this only hits one card though. This is going to hit this anyway, but I mean, I can make things a little bit more awkward if I want to go like secrets instead. I don't need to play those at the moment. I mean, I could, though. It probably sets up lethal better. Oh, 
Oh, that was a pretty good turn. I pray that you get Deathwing. Just kidding. Don't get Deathwing. Double nest. He top decked a one mana Deathwing. Of course you fucking did. Of course you top decked a one mana Deathwing. Why would you not? Everybody gets the one mana Deathwing. I swear this game actually hates me. Like, there's no way. Imagine not having the one mana Deathwing. Of course, why would he not have it? He had one draw to get a one mana Deathwing and then immediately gets it. All right, my next card's Martin. Martin into Wand, Wand into Galactic, Galactic into Lethal. That's how this game goes. <clears throat> Send it. That was a really good hit. Face? Ah, not good. That was the worst hit. <clears throat> Alright. Time for him to generate another Deathwing. Everybody gets another Deathwing. Just being honest. Everybody creates the double nest off of Sky Mommy, and then they get the other Deathwing. They have to. That's what normal people do. It's Yogg to take my Deathwing. Oh, everything attacks everything. That's not a guaranteed clear. He finds, ooh, he gets the draw three. That is a, that is a problem. That is a problem. It is not a problem that I, uh, I can solve it. So I yog his yog. And then I take his Yogg, and then that takes this. Oh, never mind. It already killed this card. I can put him at four. Create tentacles. And then this could kill him. Did I hit something and turn effect? No. Believe it or not, I think these cards help me from going into fatigue because they add cards to my deck. Alright, gets his mana back, puts a taunt in the way. He Alex's himself for one mana, healing for 12. Does two damage to everything, destroying my Yogs and my taunt. He has two mana remaining. He flicks Sea Giant. He destroys my weapon, but I take double damage, but he goes Ice Barrier. That's 12, 13, 14. This could have damage in it. For the red crane. 
freeze face question mark or ping? Song Original Sin by Sophie Tucker. All right, that's a good chunk of his mana. <sighs> He has half his mana left, instantly snap picks that, which means it's an armored card or a draw card. Summons Observer, but he's back at eight. He goes with the Taunt Dragon with Lifesteal. Probably going to rig in that equality again. Let's go ahead and do that again. I have to double trade there, but I, I guess I can do this. He has legal. Miss lethal. I don't know where you guys see lethal. His card can't be targeted by hero powers or spells. It's a big card. None of these give him life besides Zilliax. He's still at two. I just need to do one damage. One, two. I'm at epic. That was illegal. Um, I don't think there's any legendaries that do it. I just need Tendril to do uh, one damage. Go face. <laughs> the singular Tendy, bro. The singular tendy. Only one tendy. All you need is one tendy. The octobussy, the tentussy. Oh my god. I'm never gonna doubt the tendy again. That was simply extraordinary.